woman attacked by evil spirit in dream. Shocked to see her protection damaged. Caroline had a special experience from late March to early May 2020. As the government imposed a lockdown during the COVID-19 pandemic, Caroline had to work from home. During this time, she contacted customers by phone to talk to them and answer their inquiries. She also sent special promotions to her customers via WhatsApp. Strangely enough, between late March and early April, she was reported for a total of three times after sending some special promotions, causing a delay in following up her customers. The other thing she found strange was that customers either rejected her, hung up quickly, or didn't pick up. They would often decline her with excuses and say that they're busy, causing her to lose her confidence. Caroline felt something was wrong, so she quickly turned to the Lord. She prayed at night and asked the Lord to shine on her so she could know in what way did she displease him. She was facing many obstacles at work and her sleep was suffering. Due to poor sleep, she also had frequent nightmares and was often attacked by evil spirits in them. She felt very anxious and didn't dare to go to sleep, afraid that she would wake up from a nightmare again. Caroline prayed fervently about this matter and sought the Lord's help every night. After seeking desperately, testimonies regarding unclean objects came up on two consecutive Sunday services. When Caroline heard these testimonies, she was enlightened and wondered if she was vulnerable because of unclean objects. So, she prayed to the Lord again. Lord, if unclean objects are really the cause of this, I implore you again, please let the Holy Spirit shine on me, that I may find out in the shortest time possible whether unclean objects are really affecting my work or not. The next day after praying, she felt compelled to call a sister and shepherd her. During the conversation, the sister mentioned Caroline's children and how she missed them. After they hung up, the sister began to browse Caroline's Facebook page. She was frightened and quickly informed Caroline that her Facebook page had a lot of unclean photos. Upon hearing this, Caroline confessed her sins, repented, and asked the Holy Spirit to lead her so she can find and delete the unclean photos on her Facebook page. When Caroline went on her Facebook page, she found photos of herself and her children wearing clothes with images of famous cartoon characters. As they were precious memories to her, she didn't delete them and kept them to this day. Some photos in which she was tagged were taken a few years ago at her friend's wedding. Some of these photos had idols in them. Others even showed them worshipping their ancestors with incense sticks. She hadn't paid much attention to these photos before, so she was shocked when she saw them. Before she deleted the photos, she asked the Holy Spirit to lead her in confessing her sins. Then she deleted the unclean photos and asked the Holy Spirit to cleanse her. Caroline slept very well that night and woke up the next day feeling refreshed. At work, all the calls with their customers went on smoothly. There was good communication and their attitudes changed drastically. Her WhatsApp messages were no longer banned and her customers responded to her on WhatsApp. Plus, her sales improved. In April, she reached and even exceeded her monthly sales target set by her company within two weeks. Although her problems at work were solved, she still had recurring sleep issues. Sometimes she slept well but sometimes she had nightmares. Knowing that she had already gotten rid of the unclean photos, she wondered if she still had sins that displeased God or sins that she had not yet turned away from. Sins that could rob her of her peace, prevent full deliverance, and prolong her sleep problems. Caroline was on her knees for several days, praying desperately about this matter and asking the Lord for His grace and insight. One night, she dreamed that she was in a dark, eerie, and scary place. She felt surrounded by evil spirits. She could not see some of them, but she felt that the tall evil spirits were near and around her. She could clearly see one of the evil spirits on her left, about to grab her. His claws had reached her head and was about to penetrate into her. She was so afraid that she cried out twice. Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood! Cover me with your precious blood! In desperation, she burst into tears. At that moment, a light shone from the right side, relieving her fears instantly. 
The light surrounded her like a halo, and she received a thin layer of protection that's as thin as paper. But the evil spirit wasn't giving up. Caroline felt that he was angered by her protective layer that prevented him from attacking her. Then, Caroline saw a hole in the upper left corner of the protective layer, big enough for the evil spirit's claws to invade and attack her from above. The evil spirit smiled sinisterly and treacherously at Caroline, as if telling her that he could attack her at any given moment. Caroline cried out in fear. Lord, please forgive me for lying. I confess that I have lied. Please forgive me. When she confessed this sin, the protective layer slowly became brighter and thicker, and the evil spirit was immediately bounced back by a foot. Then, there was peace in her heart. The evil spirit could not attack her, because after she confessed her sins and prayed, the protective layer was mended, thickened, and made brighter. Now, the evil spirit could not see where she was. Then, she awoke from her dream. She prayed about this and asked the Lord to bring this matter to light and let her know clearly how she had sinned against him, as she can't remember what lies she had told. After praying, she recalled the incident, and she asked the Lord to help her retain her memory until morning. The next morning when she prayed, an incident flashed by in her mind. On that occasion, someone asked her to confirm something. However, she didn't want to let that person know. So, to hide the truth, she lied, denied, and dismissed the matter hastily. Caroline didn't think much of it at the time, but in the Lord's eyes, she had told a lie. Caroline asked the Lord to forgive her for lying. Then, she found an opportunity to tell the truth and apologize. After she did this, her relationship with that person improved. From that day on, she was able to sleep well and wake up refreshed, and the evil spirits did not attack her again. She felt the Lord's presence and mercy, her faith increased, and she understood that protective layers in the spiritual realm are real. Within two weeks, her sales in May were already three times that of April. This experience made Caroline more watchful in life and more willing to apologize to people and admit her mistakes humbly. To her, this was a big change in life. In the past, she had always found it difficult to admit her mistakes, and others always apologized to her first. It was no different when she fought with her husband. One time, things got so bad, she ran away from home after getting into a fight with him. Her husband, panicking and feeling guilty, went out to look for her. But after this spiritual experience, Caroline became fearful whenever she had the urge to lose her temper. Whenever she lost her temper and harbored unforgiveness in her heart, she would be unable to pray before bed. Only after asking for forgiveness did she regain the power to pray. Now, she will consult the Lord and turn to her spirit before making any decisions, examining herself to see if she has displeased God in any way. Praise the Lord, Caroline's heart is now filled with peace and joy from the Lord. May all the glory be to God. If you are watching this for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to us and press the tiny notification bell so you won't miss our latest videos. If you have benefited from this video, please comment below so that your encouragements may bless others.